welcome to Linux and tutorial in this session you are going to see about how to set up apache virtual hosting in ral and centos 7 there are two types of virtual hosting one is name based virtual hosting and another one is ip based virtual hosting name based virtual hosting can be host several domains websites on a single machine with a single ip all the domains on that server will be shared a single ip now i'm going to say you about ip based virtual hosting with ip based virtual hosting you can assign a separate ip for each domain on a single server these ips can be attached to the server with single net card as well as a multiple net card now i'm going to show you a name based apache virtual hosting for that you need to install a package httpd for that yum install HTTPD Press of the HTTPD package has been completed successfully. Now I am going to configure two name based virtual hosting. So I need to create two directories inside the HTML directory. For that, mkdir slash HTML and the name of the first directory is sample1. And the second directory is sample2. Now open the configuration file of the httpd. For that, vim etc httpd conf httpd.conf. You need to move to the last line, and here you need to put the entry as virtual host space the IP address colon 80 here you need to type the server name space the name of the server and the document root here you need to mention the path of the index file it's where www.html sample1 and you need to close the virtual host tag and i'm going to configure another virtual host for that virtual host here I am going to put star colon 80 and the server name is www.linuxhelp2.com and the document root here you need to mention the path of the index file it's where www html sample2 after that you just close the virtual host tag after that you save the file now to check the syntax for that httpd space hyphen t now the syntax is ok now you need to add the service in the firewall for that firewall hyphen cmd space hyphen hyphen permanent hyphen hyphen add hyphen service is equal to http it has been added now i'm going to reload the firewall for that firewall hyphen cmd hyphen hyphen reload the firewall has been reloaded successfully now i'm going to create the index file inside the both root directories first i'm going to create index file for linuxhelp1.com cd where www html sample1 inside that i'm going to create the index file index.html inside that you need to create html coding to be displayed on the web browser i am going to create a sample code after that you just save the file now i am going to create index for linuxhelp2.com for that i need to move to sample2 directory html sample2 inside that you need to create the index file here you need to create the sample code to be displayed in the web browser
now the index file creation has been completed now you need to start and enable the service for that systemctl start HTTPD dot service now we have to enable this service the service has been get enabled successfully once the setup has been completed you can test by accessing both the domains in your browser for that application and browser inside the browser you need to type the domain name HTTP www.linuxhelp1.com It has opened first virtual host Now I am going to open the second virtual host For that HTTP www.linuxhelp2.com So the setup of the name based virtual hosting has been completed now i am going to configure the ip based virtual hosting for that i am going to show you my ip address in the output you can able to see there is two ip address 5.190 and 5.191 and both the ip address are assigned to the physical network device now i am going to do the ip based virtual hosting by using this two ip address for that i need to make changes in the configuration file now you need to open the httpd configuration file then etc httpd conf httpd dot conf inside file inside that file there are two domains are present linux help onecom and linux help 2com now you can able to see already the linux help onecom is having the ip of 5.190 now i am going to assign 5.191 for the linux help 2 domain for that 192.168.5.191 now i restart the httpd service for that system ctl restart HTTPD dot service now the service has been get restarted now test your IP based web hosting setup by accessing the URL on the base now click on application and open the browser and check here I am going to access the first domain by using the IP address 190 for that HTTP double slash 192.168.5.190 here you can able to see the first domain has been get accessed and you can able to see the web page now i'm going to access the second domain by using the ip address 5.191 for that http 192 dot one sixty eight dot five dot one ninety one here you can able to see it can able to access the second domain by using the IP address five dot one ninety one thank you for watching